Excited to watch F1 on TV. But have you ever wondered what kind of camera is shooting that video? This time I will explain about the TV camera used in F1 broadcasting. Many TV cameras used all over the world are made by Japanese manufacturers such as Sony and Panasonic. F1 uses a TV camera from the American company Grass Valley. The current headquarters of Grass Valley is in Montreal, Canada, where the Canadian Grand Prix is also held, so it is a company that is not a little related to F1. F1 Grand Prix is shooting using LDX86 series of Grass Valley. This camera is capable of shooting in 4K high quality and incorporates a design specialized for shooting sports. When watching the F1 broadcast, a high quality slow motion replay image is played but it is thanks to this camera that you can see this beautiful slow motion. With this type of camera, you can imagine a camera operator looking through the viewfinder and shooting. In order to shoot an F1 car running at high speed, the range of moving the camera is wide, and you cannot chase the F1 car by looking into it. Using the viewfinder of the monitor type Eye Catcher EC744. Since the F1 broadcast is exposed to sunlight outdoors, it is difficult to see, so the monitor is surrounded by a cover to improve visibility. The zoom and focus are also manually controlled by the camera operator. If the camera operator directly controls the zoom and focus on the lens, he will not be able to chase the F1 car. Attached a machine that can operate zoom and focus at hand, connected it with a lens and a cable, and operated it at hand. Use the thumb of your right hand to move left and right to zoom in and out. Adjust the focus by rotating the cylindrical knob with your left hand. This machine can be installed by switching the left and right, so it can be installed according to the camera operator's preference. All camera operators wear headsets, which are in contact with the international video base. Since it can talk directly with the base, the camera operator will be instructed about the current race development and the video to be shot. This conversation may use wireless, but the camera itself has an intercom line. The camera operator can talk to the base via the camera cable by connecting the headset to the camera. Only one cable is connected to the camera and it is connected to the base. One cable can cover 3 kilometers, and by connecting a power box in between, it will be possible to cover up to a range of 4 kilometers. It has enough functions if it is a circuit where the F1 Grand Prix is held. There is a camera control unit at the international video base. From this control unit, the power supply of the camera, the captured video, the intercom line, the audio line connected to the camera, the tally line, the video line being broadcast, etc. A lot of information is exchanged with one optical cable. In addition, 
it is possible to adjust the camera remotely from the base using the control unit. Before broadcasting, the colors of all cameras are adjusted by remote control. What is a tally line? Red light is lit on the monitor used in the viewfinder with the information that the image of your camera is being broadcast. Since the broadcast image can also be displayed on the monitor, the camera operator chases the F1 machine that should be shot while checking the broadcast image. If the camera operator wants to see the video being broadcast, he can see it by pressing the button on the machine that controls the zoom. The camera operator switches between the video he is shooting and the video being broadcast while checking. You can see that they are very busy. The lens is sold separately and the camera itself is expensive at 74,000 euros. Dozens of these expensive cameras have been installed throughout the circuit to produce international footage of the F1 Grand Prix. I hope you will continue to enjoy the international video with a sense of reality.